Hello, everybody. Will Davis Jr. here with great news today. We've graduated. We're great news and longer just good news. Hope you're doing well. Shout out to Linda Lange. Linda, thanks for being part of ACF and the online audience of Good News Today. I appreciate your comments and your support and your encouragement. Please send all cards, comments, questions, complaints, cash, and criticisms to seniorpastor at acfellowship.org. Okay, Genesis 2, the first three verses. And the heavens and the earth were finished. Mark that word, finished. All the host of them. And on the seventh day, God finished, mark the word finished, his work that he had done. And that he rested on the seventh day from all his work that he had done. So God blessed the seventh day and made it holy because on it God rested from all the work that he had done in creation. So we talked a bit the last couple of days about the ability of God to draw a finish line and say it's done. God rested from his work, his creative activity. God had spent billions of years or six days, it doesn't matter. It was to him, it was six days, putting everything in place and making the work of creation. And he knew when it was done and he drew a line and he stepped back and said, this is really, really good. This is enough. It's finished. Notice the ability of God to complete work and be done with it. Now, let me jump you forward to the New Testament, John, the 19th chapter, to about verse 30. And Jesus is hanging on the cross. Jesus, who is the Word, who is the wisdom present in creation. He was the tool God used of creation. Uh, Hebrews says, by the wisdom of God, Proverbs says, by the wisdom of God, God created the heavens and the earth. Jesus is that wisdom. He was the ever-present tool at the right hand of God. When God spoke, Jesus is the word. It's all over Genesis. It's, it's so amazing. The role, Je, Jesus is given total credit for creation in the New Testament by Paul and other writers. It's amazing. So he was there. John 19, verse 30, he's on the cross. When Jesus had received the sour wine, he said, it is, it is finished. Hmm. Where has he heard that before? It is finished. And he bowed his head and gave up his spirit. Jesus said basically the same thing on the cross when he completed the work of recreation that he heard his father say when he completed the work of creation. How amazing is that? Um, both showed the ability to finish their work and to know when it was done. Jesus' was different. Jesus required... Jesus' work required him to come into the very world he'd created and live as part of it instead of ruling over it and actually dying something it's impossible for God to do at the hands of the very people he created. But in both cases, the Father in creation, the Son in recreation, there was a moment when the work was done and the fruit of it was now going to be enjoyed. And we know 40 days after Jesus' resurrection, the Holy Spirit's poured out, and the work of the Holy Spirit has begun now, and the, the changing of the, the world into the image of Christ and the new heaven and the earth that's coming. And there'll be a day when the Spirit says it is finished. The Spirit's work will be done. But the work of the Son, the work of the Father, done. Isn't that amazing? So do you have the capacity to know when you're done? The work of creation had a finish line. The work of recreation had a finish line. Now the Holy Spirit is sanctifying us and purifying us. But I want to submit to you, friends, that, that we have two great role models in the Father and the Son who knew when to say enough. And it doesn't mean I'm talking about your retirement. I just mean at the end of a day or at the end of a week, you have the ability to go, you know what? It's enough. We're done. It, this work today is finished. It's part of the pattern of the Trinity. To, to know, to initiate work, to initiate creation or recreation, but also to say, we're done. And one of these days on the heavens and the earth, God's going to say, we're done and give us a new one. They know when to quit and start in the next work. Do you? Do you? Learn from the wisdom of the Father. Learn from the wisdom of the Son. Know when to say, it is finished. This, is mess this message is for somebody right now. I hope you hear it. Love you, Lord. Thank you for this time. Help us to have the wisdom that you have to say enough. I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. See you next week.